Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. I think it's time for a refresh of a couple of the Google Home videos and we're gonna start with Bluetooth. Now, you know, there was that big announcement out here in the last couple of weeks where Google Home came out. You can now control a Bluetooth speaker. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm also gonna show you how to use Google Home as a Bluetooth speaker itself. So uh, the last thing I will show you though is how to incorporate that Bluetooth speaker in a group of speakers here. So let's get going. Let's start with Google Home here, getting it paired to a Bluetooth speaker. Now, in the Google Home application, you're gonna go up to the top right and go to your devices and go into the settings for your Google Home. So you can see you just tap on the three dots there, then scroll down and you're going to see an option called paired Bluetooth devices and choose default speakers. Now within paired Bluetooth devices, you can choose to enable pairing mode. That's important when you're connecting to a phone, but not important for what we're doing here. Now we're gonna go into choose a default speaker, and then what I'm gonna do is choose pair Bluetooth speaker. Now it's gonna scan for devices, and you can see down in the bottom right there, I have my anchor speaker here ready to connect. So I'm just gonna click on that, and you'll notice my anchor stops flashing and now I'm connected and my anchor is set as the default speaker. So now anytime I'm playing music to my Google Home, it's actually going to play on the anchor as long as it's connected. Now, of course, in order to play music, you have to remember that you have to have a subscription active. Now, I'm not actually gonna run through that here, but I am just showing you here. I do have a Google Play Music subscription active. You would need to have something similar. So now let's jump into a demo. I'll show you how to control from a voice perspective, how to control your Google Home paired with a Bluetooth speaker. Hey Google, play royalty free music. All right, here's royalty free music on Google Play Music. Hey Google. Next song. Hey Google. Disable Bluetooth. Okay, Bluetooth is disconnected. Enable Bluetooth. All right, looking for paired devices. Bluetooth is connected to Anker A7908. Now continuing on, you saw I unpaired the speaker from Bluetooth, but you can also do it through the Google Home map in the settings for your Google Home itself. So again, you go into the default speaker section and you just choose a different device. You can see instantly my anchor disconnected. Now it is still a device that we had paired to in the past, so it is easy to pair to that speaker again. Now moving on here, in my home I also have a mini, a Google Home Mini. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to connect that same speaker to my Google Home Mini just to show you that it's possible with a Google Home Mini. So I haven't paired any devices to this mini at this point, I actually just did a factory reset on it. And now I'm going to choose, again, to pair a Bluetooth speaker. And you're gonna see it here, connect, and again, the light starts flashing on my Anchor speaker. Now, I have my Google Home sitting next to it there, and you can see now the Google Home Mini is playing on that Anchor speaker. So, we're gonna create a group, and this is important here. You wanna create a group with both speakers in it, and keep in mind that the Mini actually is using the Bluetooth speaker. The other thing you wanna make sure you've done is make sure you link this group to your Google account. Now, what that does is that allows this group to show up in different applications like Google Play Music. So I'm just gonna save this group. It's called Test Group, just for the purposes of this video. Now that that's created, you can see down here, here's the test group, 
And if you wanted, if you had multiple speakers, you could edit that. So now that I have these two speakers connected, they're in a group, and also keep in mind the Mini is now Bluetooth connected to my Bluetooth speaker. Let's see the functionality in a demo. Play royalty free music on test group. Okay, royalty free music from Google Play Music. Playing on test group. So now moving on to the other side of the equation, what if you have an iPhone or a phone or some kind of device that you want to control music with and you want to push that to a Google Home, let's go ahead and get that set up. Hey Google, enable pairing mode. So you can see there I just had to enable the pairing mode All right. and now to my mini device Bluetooth has shown up at for the, the bottom. Called mini. It's now connected. I just had to tap on it here on my iPhone. Very similar process on an Android. So now let's go ahead and play some music here. You're going to see it play instantly. Now after that demo here, I'm actually going to pair my other Google Home. So this is the regular Google Home. I'm going to go ahead, I've enabled that Bluetooth mode and I've just gone ahead and connected through the Bluetooth on my iPhone. Now I've started a song here and you can see you can control on the device or you can control from your iPhone. Disable Bluetooth. Okay, Bluetooth is disconnected. So now let's move back. Now I've unpaired my Bluetooth speaker. I'm going to show you how this whole system can be connected together. Now I'm going to take you down a little bit of a path just to show you the ways this doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is with my mini speaker here, I'm going to go ahead and choose the default speaker as my anchor. So we're going to create that connection here to that speaker. And then I'm going to Head over to my larger Google Home here, go into the settings again, and choose our group, our test group, as the default. Now, you would think that that would mean it would play music on the Google Home and then also play music on the Google Home Mini, which is paired with the Bluetooth speaker. So you would think this would play on both speakers. So now I'm pairing to my larger Google Home speaker and we're going to go ahead and do a test here. Now unfortunately the music is only playing on my larger Google Home. So what is the right way to do this? It's actually to use the cast feature. So that's the little icon down at the bottom there. It has the little Wi-Fi symbol on a box essentially. You tap on that and it brings up the lists of speakers and groups that you could be playing on to. Now remember that little checkbox that I told you to use in the Google Home when creating your group? This is why. It's right here. You can see test group and I can choose that. Once I've chosen that, what I have now is my Google Home Mini is paired to my Bluetooth speaker and my Google Home, my larger Google Home, is part of the test group.
right, well, there you go. You know, hopefully that little video here has you all squared away in terms of Bluetooth and your Google Home devices. Obviously, there's a lot of functionality there now and you're able to accomplish a lot. So, you know what, guys, as always, if this video has helped you out, make sure to subscribe. I create tutorials every week for you. And then, of course, I have all of my update and new products, new feature videos that come out and tell you all about the world of automation. So we'd love to have you on the channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.